Hey guys, Electron Man. Hey, I got a toy I'm going to share with you. Really, there's plenty of videos out on it, so I don't really need to, quote, review it. But uh, I've been wanting one for a while. I mean, uh, but anyway, I get get to the point here. Um, is I bought me a Uninen Home Patrol scanner. I've been wanting one for years, but, you know, they were four or $500 when they came out. And I got to searching around, found a pretty good deal on an auction on one of them. And uh, this is a Home Patrol 2, or 1. There's actually a Home Patrol 2 now, which... I guess there's a difference in one of the digitals, which fortunately my area doesn't hasn't went to that digital yet. So, yeah, I was kind of out of the scanner thing for a long time. I had this uh, this old realistic uh, Pro 2006, which was the cat's meow forever. But I thought you know with them going digital and everything, pretty much there wasn't anything to scan anymore. Boy, was I wrong on that. Um, <laughs> It's it's still uh, there's still a lot out there to scan. You just gotta uh, you gotta pretty much have a digital scanner now, and there is a lot of it that's uh, encrypted now that you can't buy a scanner that'll get it. But anyway, just uh, kind of wanted to show this thing off. Uh, um, we'll go ahead and power up. And we'll kind of show you a little bit on it. I, I, I'm, I'm no expert on this, but uh, I can tell you uh, one thing is, is, is that as, um, I'll turn this down here. Obviously, it's working perfectly. Um, when I first got it, I, I, you know, I'd always wonder one because it's like you just put your zip code in and boom, you're up and going. You know, you go in here in the menu, you can set your location, and then you can say, you know, you want anything 20, 30 miles around. Well, this thing I thought is either broke or, you know, I wasted my money because there's not anything to scan anymore. Well, lo and behold, um, what you need to do is you have to go into the Sentinel, and uh, you need to program. It's so much better than the old days. I mean, back in 2006, you had to look at a guide and put each frequency in at a time. And then even when you do that, you'd end up with all these birdies, you know, where it's just making noise and stuff. And, and I, on this thing, I have found that it, I don't have any birdies. Um, and, I mean, it, it's just it's a scanning beast. But you got to go through that sentinel. In fact, uh, let's see if I can pull it up real quick for you so you can kind of see it. They call it the Home Patrol Sentinel. And uh, let me go ahead and pull it up here kind of show you to you real quick kind of get an idea what it is like i said i'm not trying to do an instruction video or anything but anyway hopefully you can see this but you got a database here and you go to usa and you go to your state and then once you go in your state you can pick your counties that you want to do and uh, say you go to like the one big town next to me like like tulsa county um then you got like nationwide and it's got all this in there and then you got statewide it's got all this in there and a lot of these are actually Broke down into, they'll even have frequencies inside of frequencies here. Um, you can go to like, uh, oh, I, this whatever, uh, Highway Patrol, you go in here and then you open that and you open statewide. See, then it's even got more frequencies. That's actually where your frequencies are at. But anyway, what you end up doing is you sit down with this Home Patrol with this big database that, which you automatically, you can update it through unit in. And then you go through there and you pick what counties and what, you know, municipalities and what, you know, what you want as far as you know fire police whatever and you add them to a favorites list and once i did that this thing came awake like crazy but in fact i've got you know it says you manage your favorites list here i'll just show you i've got one for my town i got one for tall center kind of different list but uh yeah you know, i mean you can make as many lists as you want i think but uh once you make a list and download that list into this scanner it came to life i mean it, it is it is absolutely amazing um, how much stuff I was missing, you know, I still was using the 2006, but about the only thing that was catching was like county sheriff, and that was about it because they were still in the the older, you know, VHF where everything else is pretty much digital. But anyway, we'll go back to, you know, and it's got all kinds of. You, you, I've got NICAD batteries, in it, and you can set the charge on it. You can set your service types, like you know, uh, what you want, and uh, actually you can go back here. You know, you can pick each highlighted one. Uh, what else was there? There was uh, something else that was real cool in here. I was trying to remember what it was. Um, none of the advanced. Of course, you set your charge time. You can void options. Advanced options. Quick frequency entry. Select nationwide systems. So you have to go to full database for that. Back up there. Where was that at? But like right now, it's scanning... Tulsa Police is what it's scanning. Um, where was that at? 
manage favors list yeah there and then you can actually review and edit the channels within that list but just to give you an idea how many frequencies i got here i'll kind of go here these are all the frequencies that are in here and then of course you can click into that one you can add and delete from here you can do a lot from it but the sentinel is definitely the way to go but anyway we'll go back here we'll kick her back into listen Blankets. And this is in Rome at page 1125. But yeah, I mean, uh, if you're into scanners, uh, I think there's an SDS 2000 now. I don't know if it has uses the Sentinel or not, but the Sentinel is the way to go. I mean, you know, it's like everything else. Uh, it, you know, features here and, and things have changed. But, there, you know, I was just shocked how much there was out there that I was missing. This thing's usually like constant going. Um, anyway, I don't, I don't need to spend a whole lot of time on I just kind of wanted to show it off more than anything. And if you're looking for a scanner, definitely go digital. And um, I, I say go for, for a home patrol or anything that has a Sentinel control where it has that database where you can go in there and add all this stuff. Because it would be a nightmare to try to add all these these groups and all the other stuff you got to do now in the digital where as with you know with this being able to do it like i showed you to the database you're just able just to click wherever you want and add what frequencies you want and move more frequencies and this is my first round i might spend some more time and get a little more in depth and even maybe even get it refined a little bit better but i'm pretty happy with the way it's running right now i'm uh, i'm impressed but uh the anyway caller said he hasn't seen any weapons yet the male still saying again he's gonna go get a gun. But see, it's like 1953 is a group, and it's like it's the a wireless in operating network, and, and the post, off, Tulsa we don't police. And anyway, yeah, this is if you're gonna get a scanner, go digital, and I say go with a home patrol or if that SDS uses a Sentinel too. It, I think it's the latest and greatest. That, like I said, this is a home patrol one. There's now a two. And I guess there's some that are out there Happy using advice. some different mode that this doesn't have. Uncle, but other than that, I think they're identical. Number, drives a silver Dodge pickup. It was just there, break. But uh, anyway, as you can see, it, uh, it'll, it'll, it'll definitely scan its little heart out here. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that. I just kind of wanted to show it off. I don't know if this is any interest to anybody, but, you know, if you're looking for a scanner, um, definitely go digital and, and one that uses a Sentinel with a database because that is the only way you're going to be able to, to be able to scan these days. But anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this little short video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. I was, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. I usually always got some pretty cool info coming out, you know, and uh, hopefully you enjoy it. Have a great day.